What's going on guys, it's your boy ATF Cobra. Today I have a weapon list or Battlefield 4 wish list um, or weapons that I think that should be included in Battlefield 3 and that should definitely make a scene in Battlefield 4 and the reason for that is these weapons um, are the badass guns that uh, you know that are well known, most popular um, you know and they have a certain trade or a certain you know special feeling to them actually um, you know just just looking at them the way they look the way they feel the way you see them in videos or in games um, that it's very strange not to see them in Battlefield 3 and of course I'm gonna go off a list one by one to list each gun and uh, to talk a little bit about these guns and why they should definitely be in Battlefield 3 and why they should um, be in a wish list for Battlefield 4 the first one off my list is the Desert Eagle, the 50 cal Desert Eagle. Now, this would be so badass. Imagine the 44 Magnum, um, you know, with uh, f a 50 caliber round. You know, it's a, it's a one-shot kill, anything, you know, above the neck area or even maybe even the chest. You never know. Um, you know, dice might balance it um, in a certain way to really work. But in Battlefield 4, I definitely want to see this gun, a pistol that you can, you know, really rely on. Um, it is very heavy. It should be difficult to use because a 50 cal in real life, um, you know, more than likely you're going to hurt yourself if you don't know how to use it. That's why it's, it's a signature weapon that, you know, I definitely thought was going to be in Battlefield uh, 4. Hopefully it comes in the DLC, you know, maybe in the next year's DLC it might be in there or something. But I definitely want to see this gun. It's very bad ass like I said again and the next gun on the list of course another 50 cal weapon is the Barrett 50 cal now we have the M98B which is like a 50 cal but it uses a 7.62 round it's not using that 50 caliber round um, which I want to see limbs um, you know fly off that's that's what I want to see in Bat Battlefield 3 but uh, they keep things to the minimum they keep the gore to the minimum you know there's blood and stuff like that but there's no limbs flying I definitely like to see a game that takes it beyond that you know it goes like all gears in you know how gears is all about their gore and you know, ripping people apart with chainsaws and stuff like that I definitely want to see that in um, Battlefield 4 and I want to see the Barrett 50 cal where you can you know just take guys limbs off and stuff like that and not necessarily make it a one shot kill anywhere but make it a kill on um, one shot kill above the neck if, you, if you're aiming if you shoot somebody in the neck um, or if you get the neck region then you should definitely be a one shot kill but a shoulder if you get a shoulder shot then that definitely shouldn't be a one shot kill i love to see this gun um you know the sound that it makes i definitely want to hear it you know the sounds in battlefield 3 are really great and awesome and i'd love to hear um a 50 caliber uh, caliber rifle go off and you know decimate my enemies or whatever the next weapon on the list is the Galil. I love this gun from Black Ops, from um, what other game that I play? Counter Strike. Um, all these games that I played it in, the Galil was just an awesome rifle. It was, it was really crazy. Um, the look of this gun was really um, kind of strange and crazy. I love the I love the gun from Black Ops One. Um, I love playing with it. it. Was actually my second or third favorite gun, especially silenced. You know, and I'd love to see it in Battlefield Three. It'd definitely be a different look into the game. You know, for an assault rifle. And the only thing that makes it stand out to me, in my personal opinion, is is just the look, just how it looks, um, and just how it feels, especially when you shoot it. Um, and Counter Strike, it's one of those guns that felt weird too. It it had its own signature traits to it too. So that's what made it stand uh, apart from uh, different guns in the game. And that's why I definitely want to see it in Battlefield 4 or see, you know in the next DLC or something I hope the next DLC we get some brand new weapons that we haven't seen before haven't even you know expected to be in this game and uh, my next weapon on the list is the USP um, I know we have a bunch of uh, pistols in this game already MP443 M1911 MP44 um, there's there's a lot of weapons in this game you know a lot of handguns and uh, one of them that I want to see is the USP because it looks badass the silver line the silver and chrome um, look and feel to it with the black handle looks really crisp and really clean I would definitely love to see it in Battlefield 4 or actually in the next expansion pack if DICE is able to I know um, this game's been out for quite some time and to release some new weapons I think they could definitely do it and go with this gun and I hope that they definitely choose this gun and make it badass because I know this gun has superb accuracy and just about every shooter that I played with this gun um, it had extreme accuracy it was very it was very powerful as well and I definitely want to see it in Battlefield 3 and, and see how it works and how it changes the game a little bit and how it, uh, you know kind of change players perspective on um, you know using different um, handguns and of course um, 
the next weapon on the list, which uh, I I'm still scratching my head at this one. Like I've, I I really don't understand why it has been released in the next DLC. Um, the MP5 Navy. You know, they um Dice released the M5K, which was kind of like a it looked like the MP5, but it it doesn't no not at all not even close. And then they released the G53, which I thought that was the MT5. I even released a video on my channel that got so much um um it, it got a lot of people uh, kind of um telling me off because it, the G53 is not the M5K, which I know. And I should have seen coming, but uh, it, it's really weird. Like I said, I'm still scratching my head as to why Dice hasn't, um, you know, actually released a DLC with the MP5 Navy. This is a badass assault rifle. When you see Navy SEALs on um, videos, when you see awesome, um, you know, videos with uh, special ops, um, you know, stuff like that. You, you you see guys with MP5s and stuff like that, and British Army. You see guys with MP5s, badass. You know, guns like that should automatically be on the original list of when you're making games like this that is just is mind-boggling boggling but uh it is what it is um you know hopefully they'll learn from this in battlefield 4 the weapon list will be different i don't want to see the same guns or remakes or rehash of the same guns i want to see different skins different models for every um gun that's going to be in battlefield 4 i definitely don't want to be looking at the same guns looking the same way because you know we've been playing this game a lot and we need a fresh experience we don't need to go into battlefield 4 being like hey this is exactly the same no we don't need that at all because the step from battlefield 2 to battlefield 3 is a gigantic leap it's a if you guys go back and play battlefield 2 you'll notice how big the difference is there's no resemblance at all to um from battlefield 2 to battlefield 3 at all um <laughs> so if you if you guys want to check it out probably go look it up on youtube right now and you'll see battlefield 2 does not look like battlefield 3 and you know vice versa so the uh, dice could have called this game something else if they wanted to but uh yeah the last weapon on the list before the video runs out is the fal this has been a beastly rifle in every um call of duty and um and every Call of Duty, uh, Counter Strike, every just about every shooter you see the FL, and this gun is dominant single shot. Um, you know, I'd love to see a single shot assault rifle in Battlefield 3 that you know dominates. I know we have some um, two shotters, um, you know, but they don't, they don't, they're not badass like the FAL where you, you, it's high damage, um, fire rate is, is beast, and the accuracy is beast. You know, weapons like this, it, it's hard to see them. Um, missed and and passed, but I don't know. Just the guy who was in charge for this weapon list definitely needed to uh, play a little bit more video games, I think, or whoever was in charge basically. Because there's a lot of weapons, you know, even the ones I'm not even saying in this video aren't in, even in here. And there's a lot of you guys that are like, oh my god, there's so many more weapons that could have been in the game that aren't in the game, and it, it's it's kind of mind-boggling. But at the same time, there's only so much they can do and so much they can put in. I know. Um, if I could take some weapons out and put some new ones in, I think the first one I take out is probably the PP2000. I mean, that gun is barely used, and you know, and nobody ever looks to it. But uh, yeah, this video is just about wrapping up. I'm going on for too long, but hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Peace.